Hello and welcome to the Start Inward podcast. Every week, new episodes are brought to inspire you to take action, challenge your mindset, and encourage you to love yourself. I'm your host, Hannah, and I'm so glad you're here. In today's episode, we are going to be talking about the top three ways to build your confidence. And I don't think there's any better way to start off than by sharing with you one of my favorite quotes of all time written by the one and only Napoleon Hill. And here is what he said. If you think you are beaten, you are. If you think you dare not, you don't. If you like to win but think you can't, it is almost certain that you won't. If you think you'll lose, you're lost. For out in the world we find, success begins with a fellow's will, it's all in the state of mind. If you think you are outclassed, you are. You've got to think high to rise. You've got to be sure of yourself before you can ever win a prize. Life's battles don't always go to the stronger or faster man, or woman for that matter. But sooner or late, the one who wins is the one who thinks they can. Can we take a second to appreciate this poem, this quote? Because wow, not only is this powerful, but the way that it flows is a vibe, okay? Basically, when I read this, what comes to my mind is confidence. Your confidence directly comes from your self-esteem. Your perception of how you value yourself and your worth. And I will say that your self-esteem is probably one of the most important factors when it comes to your growth, your healing, and your success, because what you think about yourself really does determine how far you will go. If you think that you're slow, if you think that you don't have the energy, the patience, the time to create your business, to learn something new, to start the thing that you've been going back and forth on, you're literally convincing yourself that it's not possible for you, which means you're fulfilling a self-imposed prophecy. In other words, your expectations of yourself and your belief in what you can do influence your actions, okay? Like, hands down. So by telling yourself that you're not ready, you don't know enough information, and you're not competent, what you're doing is making this become your reality. So then you start procrastinating, you start avoiding. You convince yourself to the point where when what you want doesn't happen for you, it's like, oh yeah, I knew it. I knew this was going, I knew this wasn't going to happen for me. I called it. And this kind of borders fatalism a little bit. And just to quickly say what fatalism is, it's when you believe that your life, your destiny were predetermined and when you were born, it's like the universe kind of just set it up for you that way. I'm not a fatalist. So the key for me and the key for you all as well is to become aware of your inner belief system, to become aware of your self-opinion, to not self-deprecate yourself because you do not want to sabotage yourself and your potential. We are our hardest critics, okay? You are the one who is with yourself every single day at every waking moment. And sometimes we can get into our own heads and convince ourselves that we aren't good enough, we're not worthy, and we're not deserving. And in order to turn these self-limiting beliefs around, the first step that I believe towards building your confidence is to honor your commitments. Something that I've recently learned is that you don't trust what someone says, right? Because people can say anything literally. But ultimately, you have to trust what someone does because, as we know, actions speak louder than words, and the same applies for ourselves. In order to be more secure within ourselves, in order to be confident, we have to develop a relationship with ourselves that is based on trust and accountability. Instead of talking the talk, we have to be able to trust ourselves by having our own backs and following through with our commitments. And what this means is that if we basically say that we're going to do something, we do it. We get it done. We go to the gym. We cook a healthy meal instead of going out. We save that extra $20 and put it into our bank accounts. 
And I really believe that this is what starts the journey towards having high self-esteem and self-image and ultimately building confidence. Because when you honor your commitments, you start to think and see yourself in a completely different light. And the reason why is because you are respecting yourself, your time, your energy, and your space. You are teaching yourself that when you say you're going to do something, you do it. And this trust and commitment that you have when it comes to your health, your well-being, your goals, causes your self-esteem to go from the very bottom to all the way at the top of the ladder. Because you realize that, number one, the only person you're trying to impress is the person you were yesterday. And number two, you don't have to convince yourself and over-explain what you're doing to others because your actions speak for themselves. The second step to building your self-esteem is to communicate your boundaries. Be clear and firm about what you want and what you won't tolerate. Speak up. If someone says something that offends you, communicate with them calmly and affirmatively. So for example, if and when your boss asks you to stay later than normal and you can't do it because you have other plans that you are prepared for, don't immediately succumb to his or her expectations of you. Instead, you can respond by saying, I won't be able to stay later than five tonight, but I will make sure to get that paper to you by 8 a.m. tomorrow. You see, when you know who you are, what you stand for, and what you are comfortable and uncomfortable doing, you are powerful because you are living your truth and you are not scared of what other people have to say about you. And finally, the third step to building your confidence is to be kind to yourself. Stop internalizing and blaming yourself for things that don't work out. If you get a flat tire, that doesn't mean you are stupid or careless. If you forget to call someone, that doesn't mean you're selfish. You are human. You will make mistakes. And yes, you will forget things. So be kind to yourself. If you wouldn't tell someone else something hurtful or mean, then why do it to yourself? Hold yourself in high regard. That is how you build confidence. So those are three ways that I've started developing and building my confidence, and I really hope that it can help you too. So I encourage you, start small, start today. That thing you've been going back and forth with, that thing you keep second guessing yourself on, just do it. Take action, be someone of your word, honor your commitments, communicate your boundaries, and be kind to yourself. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen. For more content like this, please subscribe, feel free to leave a comment, rating, and review, and share with someone you know. Until next week, my friends, please stay safe, know that you're loved, and never forget your worth.